Ever wondered what it actually takes to become a DevOps engineer? Is it all about coding or just knowing tools like Docker and Kubernetes? Do you really have to learn cloud scripting, Linux, CSCD, all of it? And once you do, where does it take you? And how much do you actually earn? So if you are asking any of these questions, then you are in the right place. We'll go step by step through the key skills and tools you need to learn, roles and responsibilities, how your career might look like, and different salary ranges. So if you think DevOps is a mystery or a bit overwhelming, we have got you. Let's get started. So who can become a DevOps engineer? Well, the good news is you don't need a specific degree to become a DevOps engineer. Yes, of course, a background in IT or computer science can definitely help, but it's not mandatory. What really matters is your understanding of software and how it's developed, how operating system works, and some basic knowledge of programming and scripting is good to start with. Now let's look at the roles and responsibilities of a DevOps engineer. As a DevOps engineer, you act as a bridge between operations and development, making sure your code goes from development to deployment smoothly. You'll automate workflow, build CI/CD pipelines, and set up infrastructure so the software ships faster and safer. On a daily basis, you manage cloud environment, monitor performances, fix issues quickly, and keep the downtime low. You'll use tools like Docker, Kubernetes, Jenkins, and Terraform to handle containers, automation, and infrastructure as code. And you won't be working alone. You're constantly collaborating with developers, QAs, and operations team to keep everything running like a well-oiled machine. It's a fast-paced and a high-impact role. So what should you learn and in what order to confidently become a DevOps engineer? Let's look at this document that covers everything for you. Start with concept of software development. Understand how developers collaborate using Agile, Scrum, and Jira workflows for planning and tracking tasks. Learn Git workflows like Git flow to manage code collaboration and version control. Know how applications are built, packaged, and tested using build tools and automated test pipelines. Grasp the full software development lifecycle from idea, development, testing to deployment. Then we move on to OS and Linux basics. Master essential Linux commands and understand the file system structure for server management. Learn about permission, shell scripting, and manage secure remote access using SSH keys. Understand basic network concepts like IP, DNS, ports, firewall, load balancers, and proxies. Get a foundational knowledge of Linux server administration, including package installation and servers management. Then we move on to containerization using Docker. Understand how containers differ from virtual machines and why they are faster and more efficient. Learn to build, run, and manage containers using Docker CLI and Docker files. Use Docker Compose to define and manage multi-container applications using a single YAML file. Push and pull Docker image from Docker Hub or private repositories like Nexus or Harbor. Then we move on to CI/CD pipelines. Automate, build, test, and deployment workflows using CI/CD tools like Jenkins. Create pipelines that automatically build and deploy code on every update or pull request. Integrate Git repository to trigger CI/CD pipelines based on code changes. Use artifact repositories and configure environment for seamless and safe deployment. Then learn one cloud provider. Choose one cloud platform like AWS, Azure, or GCP to focus your cloud infrastructure skills. Learn core services like IAM for users, EC2 for servers, VPC for network, and S3 for storage. Understand how to configure cloud-based networking and securely deploy infrastructures. Focus on environment-specific services such as EKS on AWS for Kubernetes orchestration. Then we move on to container orchestration using Kubernetes. Learn Kubernetes components like pods, deployments, services, and how they manage containers. Use Kubectl to interact with the Kubernetes clusters and manage resources. Deploy, scale, and manage applications on Kubernetes clusters using YAML or Helm. Manage persistent data, secrets, and configurations using volumes, config maps, and namespaces. Then we move on to monitoring and observability. Use Prometheus to collect and monitor system and application metric effectively. Set a Grafana to visualize data from Prometheus and create alerting dashboards. Manage logs centrally using the ELK or EFK stack. Understand observability principle to troubleshoot issues and gain real-time insight. Then we move on to infrastructure as code. Use Terraform to define and provision infrastructure as code across multiple environments. Automate software and system configuration tasks using Ansible playbook. Version, document, and maintain infrastructure changes in Git for collaboration and traceability. Then we move on to scripting language. Learn Python to automate infrastructure tasks, deployments, and interactions with APIs. Write scripts to handle jobs like cache clearing, test triggering, or environment setup. Understand basic shell scripting with Bash or PowerShell for system level automation. Then we move on to version control with Git. 
Use Git to manage and track changes in your code base and infrastructure scripts. Master commands like git, clone, commit, push, and merge for daily workflows. Follow git collaboration practices like branching, pull request, and code review. Then host and manage code using GitHub or GitLab and avoid storing credentials and repos. So now moving on, let's see a DevOps career path and how much you could be earning. If you're just starting out, that is being a fresher or a two years experience, you can land roles like DevOps intern, junior DevOps engineer, and site reliability intern, where you'll be working under a senior DevOps engineer on real-time deployment. In India, your salary can range from 3.5 LPA to 7 LPA. And in the US, you can earn around $60,000 to $85,000 per year. Once you got a bit more experience, about two to five years, you move into roles like DevOps engineer, cloud engineer, site reliability engineer, and built and release engineer. At this stage, you start taking ownership and start focusing more on cost optimization and security management. In India, your salary ranges from 8 LPA to 18 LPA. And in the US, you can earn around $90,000 to $120,000 per year. Now moving to five to eight plus years of experience at a senior level, you can land roles like senior DevOps engineer, senior SRE, cloud infrastructure architect, and DevSecOps engineer. Here you'll be mentoring junior team members, handling infrastructure resilience, and disaster recovery. In India, your salary ranges from 20 to 35 LPA. And in the US, you can earn around $130,000 to $160,000 per year. When you have eight to 12 plus years of experience, you become a DevOps architect, cloud solution architect, platform engineer, and infrastructure lead. Here, your responsibilities are not just using the tools, but design an entire DevOps platform, making decisions on which tool the entire company should use, and often lead big projects like cloud migration. In India, your salary ranges from 35 LPA to 60 LPA. And in the US, you can earn around $160,000 to $200,000 per year. If you're interested in moving into management, there are roles like Head of DevOps, Engineering Manager, and Chief Technical Officer. Here, you're responsible for leading team, making strategic decisions, and driving DevOps culture across all departments. In India, you can earn around 60 LPA to 90 LPA. And in the US, you can make $200,000 to $300,000 per year. And that's your complete DevOps roadmap for 2025. Whether you're just starting out or planning your next big tech move, I hope this video gave you a clear direction. If you are looking forward to earn a globally recognized job certification, check out StarGel's job certification training. Link in the comments. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.